my screen on my Mac broke again. <laughs> Most exciting part. And you guys are never going to guess what just happened. Hey guys, so it's June 4th. We're back at the Avalon. I'm literally always here in my vlogs for some reason, but today it is not a good day to be at the Avalon. Well, sort of. Basically, my screen on my Mac broke again. So we're at the Apple store and I'm literally probably gonna buy another laptop because I'm so over it. Really bad news. So I actually left my credit card at home. So I was literally about to buy the damn laptop and I was like, shit, where's my credit card? And I knew I, like, I split it into a pocket, so I was like, okay, if it's not in this purse, I definitely left it in my other purse. And of course, I literally put it in the purse that I was definitely not using today. So, yeah. Um, but, it's exciting because this is going to be my first ever purchase on my credit card. I've never had a credit card. I'm like 20 years old, and I'm finally, you know, using it. So... It's kind of exciting, kind of nerve-wracking, kind of scary as shit. I don't know if I already vlogged about this today, but, but basically me and Ryan have the same computer. Um, and we got ours both in 2013, so it's about four years out. And mine has turned into a piece of shit, and Ryan's is literally still, like, perfect. Yeah, so. Someone tell him I get out of the box, probably. Yeah, like... His is like brand new pretty much because he doesn't really use it that much. My computer lags a lot. I'm so fast with like editing now that I've gotten it down and it just like doesn't work as fast as me. I'm excited, but I'm also kind of annoyed because I totally forgot to back that computer up. So I'm gonna have to like start from fresh or try to like get the data out of that. The only thing is that the screen's not working so I don't really know how to, but I might call Apple support later tonight and try to hook it up to a monitor. Maybe that will work. <laughs> That's exciting. How are you guys doing? Good. Still getting it. Yep. You recording this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back at home and you guys are never gonna guess what just happened. My freaking computer started working again. I'm gonna be honest, I knew this was gonna happen because this has literally happened 10 times in its life and that's like too many times for this to be like acting up like this because it almost says like, hey Sonali, I'm just gonna take a day off, like I'll just come back in the morning and then you can use me, you know, but like Literally, I can't have that like happen like I just have so much shit that I have to do on my computer all the freaking time like, So do I regret buying a whole new computer? Absolutely not like I am so done with this piece of shit I'm so glad it came back on though because I was actually just about to try to hook it up to my dad's monitor to Try to like see if I could get it to back up onto my hard drive, but now that it's on, I'm backing it up and then I'm going to um, put everything on my new computer and I'm really happy that it turned back on, but I mean, that was just so annoying last night because that's all I could think about, like, oh, my, my computer's like done for and like I have to buy a new one and then I couldn't like be productive at all last night. So I'm glad I can get all my documents, all of everything, my applications off my computer and onto my new one. So a big lesson for me and... I recommend all of you guys to go home tonight or whenever you're watching this and back up all your devices, your phone, your computer, everything that you ever have because you never know the next day what can happen to anything. But I think I'm gonna make it into my routine to like at least back up my computer every single week. Especially if you actually have like a lot of documents on your computer. Please don't mind my messy room behind me. It's kind of crazy right now, but I have not yet open to my packing cubes. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did an Amazon haul and I got these because I'm going to be traveling the whole month of June. So I thought these would be really helpful. I'm definitely an overpacker and I just was wondering like maybe this could help me. Maybe this could change me type thing. So I'm going to open this up and see what it's all about. Is it just one packing cube? What the hell? Wait, is this serious? <laughs> I thought there were like way more. Oh wait, okay, this is one. I guess they have like one big one, one medium sized one, another medium sized one, a laundry pouch, which is nice. This is, oh, a shoe keeper. So you can put like shoes in here and not get everything dirty in your 
suitcase. So I'm backing up my old computer on Time Machine right now. It says it's gonna take about an hour and my mom's actually on her way over to wax me before my trip. I wanna do some parts of my body and then I wanna do my peach fuzz over here. Um, I used to use like the Sally Hansen wax strips and since I have my mom here, I may as well like, you know, ask her to wax it for me. My mom makes her own sugar wax and those Sally Hansen strips actually leave me with like rashes that like create like almost pimple looking things, but like bug bite pimple looking things, if that makes sense. So I'm actually interested to see if her sugar wax does the same thing or if it's just those strips. So my mom is here and she's gonna wax me. So her sugared wax consists of one cup of sugar, one tablespoon of water, one what of lemon juice. Tablespoon of lemon juice. You boil it on um, the flame until <laughs> it's <stove>. all dissolved <laughs> on the stove until it's all dissolved and then um, once it's the it dissolved. You check to see if it's the right consistency by dropping a drop of it into a bowl of water. And if it balls up like that, and when you touch it, it's like a gooey or gel kind of yeah, jelly gooey thing. Uh, then you know it's ready to wax. So, this is before. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have like a lot of peach fuzz. I'm wearing makeup right now, so you can't really tell, but a lot of it like starting from here, going down to here. Actually, the bad thing about this stuff, yeah, it came off. Doing wax on your face though is good for one thing, exfoliating some skin also. So Ryan's mom just reminded me to not forget about the headboards and honestly if it wasn't for her I would have totally forgot. And I was gonna wait till Ryan like gets off of work so he could help me but he's literally gonna get off of work at like 2 a.m. So I was like okay Snowy, it's all you now. Um, but my headboards fit perfectly into my car. like like was like kind of like skidding on this thing but like oh my god it was so perfect i'm honestly so proud of myself for getting those two in there and i'm really happy i got them in because then i don't have to like put them on top and worry about them like the whole eight hour drive i think that's what like our original plan was and i just was kind of scared about that so i am very excited that i did that hey guys so it's almost 7 p.m right now and i'm actually kind of getting started on packing. I have a couple things in this packing cube and I need to find some more outfits. So I was getting my makeup back together and I realized that my beauty blenders looked so dirty. So it's definitely time to clean them and I can't find my like actual beauty blender soap. So I'm just gonna use like regular caress soap and I think it's gonna be the same. That is so gross. 
So I actually got this um, Z palette type thing from Coastal Scents and it was really cheap and I just needed another one that was a lot smaller because I don't want to take my big Z palette everywhere I go. And I know that I always love warm tones and I wanted to share with you guys like the names of the colors. So all of these eyeshadows are from Makeup Geek and they were the first company I ever bought individual eyeshadows from and they're definitely one of my favorite. So like I said, I love warm tone colors. So this one is Latte. It's like a light brown, perfect transition color. This right here is Cocoa Bear. It's kind of like a reddish color. This one is Mocha, and I love to put this on my lids. And this one is Grandstand. This one is actually a little bit more expensive. I can't remember what the exact name of like the glitter eyeshadows are, but it is amazing. I highly recommend this one it is probably my favorite shimmer of all time um and it has a great consistency very pigmented and i don't always put shimmer on my eyelids but when i do i love to put like a rose gold color like this one so i finally finished packing and i'm so happy because the packing cubes just make it look so much more organized and make me feel so much better this is what it looks like I mean, this side could be a little bit more organized. When I see clothes everywhere in my suitcase, it kind of makes me go insane. So just seeing them all organized like this just makes me feel so much better. So I'm going to end this vlog. It is currently 10.30 and I have two assignments due at 12 midnight. So pray for me because I'm going to need it. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.